from KSBW Weather. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Just within the past couple hours, radar has been picking up on some showers impacting parts of the central coast, bringing light to moderate rain, but there are some heavy downpours mixed in with that. So we'll show exactly where some of this rain is located on for some of our areas currently, and that's mainly going to be around Watsonville, Watsonville, where we can see light to moderate rain all the way down to Santa Lucia mountain range, where they're seeing light to moderate rain for some of their areas, as well as some snow for some of their higher peaks, which will be a really gorgeous view for some of those areas all the way out to Monterey impacting to Carmel down to parts of Salinas. So you can see light to moderate rain, but some patches of yellow and red, meaning that there are some spots that are experiencing some heavy downpours. So if maybe if you're driving around or going to any of those areas, make sure you're extra cautious and prepared for any of that to happen um, throughout this morning. Right now, live view from Skycam 8 from Soledad High Top Palo Escrito. It might be partially hard to see on your screen because of the clouds that have been coming through, moving in and out. Um, there was some gradual clearing earlier, and hopefully you'll be able to see this when it does clear out later. But looking at some snow at the on the tree, for some of their peaks over there. So a really gorgeous site I wanted to go ahead and show. Temperatures right now pretty cold to chilly starting out in the mid 40s, some upper 40s, 48 for Salinas, down to 48 San Ardo to 44 out in Bradley. That's one of our cooler spots on the map for across the central coast. Still going to be experiencing scattered showers throughout the day today, but the bulk of that moved through yesterday and late last night. So that's behind us. Mostly going to be lingering showers throughout the day today. Calmer wind conditions, but we'll still see a breezy afternoon. It's going to be later on this evening that all of our models are pretty much agreeing with that there is going to be one more widespread rain, but pretty light rain across the central coast before we start to see a drier period heading into late night into the early hours tomorrow morning, where tomorrow we're still could be seeing a slight chance of scattered showers in the morning and even at night when we track another system that could be impacting parts of the central coast heading into Tuesday. But we'll keep in tune with that to see how that all plays out. But for today, chance of showers, diminishing winds, partial clearing late, temperatures in the 50s to upper 50s, so pretty cold. But hopefully that sunshine you'll get to be able to see as we'll see some breaks throughout the day today. And tonight we'll see cold temperatures as well in the low 40s, some upper 30s as well, like 39 Ben Lomond all the way out to 38 in King City are looking at our cooler spots on the day. Taking a look at your KSPW 8-day forecast for the next couple of days, looking at all the chances of rain, cold temperatures in the 50s to 60s with that cold front that moved through brought colder air, but then we'll see a bridge of high pressure forming, bringing us some warmer, drier conditions by the middle of the week to the end of the week, hopefully into the weekend. But you know, things can always change, so we'll keep in tune with that to see how that all plays out for right now. Overnights in the 30s to 40s, so overall pretty cold to chilly, but it is winter, so it's near seasonably average temperature.